Let's talk about the Beelzebufo, also known as the Devil Toad. This is the Beelzebufo, a type of large extinct frog that lived in Madagascar between 65 and 70 million years ago. And apart from having one of the best names that I've ever come across, this is a very, very interesting frog. To start off, it is thus far the largest frog to have ever lived that we know of. It's slightly bigger than the modern day Goliath frogs. The average size of the Beelzebufo was around 9 or so inches, but we have found specimens up to around 16 inches, which is larger than the Goliath frog. Evidence also seems to suggest that the currently found Beelzebufo fossils were not fully grown, so potentially they could get even larger than that. They were most likely highly predatory, eating pretty much anything that they could get, which potentially could include things like hatchling dinosaurs. Evidence suggests that they were ambush predators waiting beneath the water or mud for an opportune moment to strike at their prey and kind of drag them back underneath the water. Anatomically, they seem to be very, very close to modern day Pac-Man frogs, but a whole lot bigger. So a lot of scientists think that behaviorally they were also very similar to modern day Pac-Man frogs and could have been closely related. Lots of the fossils show that they had incredibly numerous, very sharp teeth in their mouth that they likely used to grip onto and drag their prey. And one source I found showed that they even had a stronger bite force than modern day alligator snapping turtles, which is a lot. So frogs are generally famous for hunting with their very elastic tongues. However, tongues are entirely soft tissue and don't fossilize very well. So currently we don't have any evidence that the Beelzebufo did have a long elastic tongue like modern frogs, but we do have a lot of other evidence about their hunting practices. So the Beelzebufo, the devil toad, has been called one of the deadliest frogs to have ever existed, and I think that's fun.